Dramaturgy mm -hmm. is threefold. Mm -hmm. um, the first path of dramaturgy is being the outside eye. And so that might be being a critic, or it might be uh, working with a director or a playwright to give them a sense of what's actually coming through from their work. Mm -hmm. The second part is being the academic in the room. So that might be actually teaching theater, um, or it might be being the one who understands all the words in a Shakespeare play or knows the historical context a play is from or the, the theoretical framework a playwright's working from. Mm -hmm. And then the last uh, fold or path <laughs> is being the bridge. Um, and so that might be bridge between playwright and director to help translate. It might be bridge between the work and the audience. Um, it might be bridge between two different communities making work and devised theater, but it's kind of acting as that translator um, and put, bringing different groups together. So a normal semester is 14 weeks, mm -hmm. and um, the modular system divides those 14 weeks into your Normal classes, which are nine to ten weeks depending on the class, those classes are longer, so it's the same amount of class time as you'd get in a 14-week class mm. normally, but it's just squeezed into a shorter time. Sometimes those are modules taught by our professors who get to teach areas of interest. Um, last semester we had one on dance dramaturgy. It was by, incredible. Yeah. It was incredible. Because um, Catherine Profeta has literally written the book on dance dramaturgy, <laughs> but she didn't feel like it could sustain an entire semester, so she put it into a module. Um, hmm. Sometimes we get visitors, like we had Madison Moore. Also incredible. Um, <laughs> that one was how to go clubbing, and let me tell you, one of the best courses in Wait, history. What? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, for real. <laughs> um, but also we get things like um, we had Heather Helinski come in and talk about like how to balance freelance dramaturgy and like what do you do about making a contract. So it can be anything from that to like, you know, Eric teaching critical race theory or some of these other things. I think that there are um, really um, two kinds of DFA experiences <laughs> that are sort of emerging in the department where uh, you can either stay here and do your doctorate and really, you know, take advantage of everything that this place mm -hmm. um, uh, affords you, like library and all that good stuff. Or you can not do that. <laughs> and you can go out into the world and be a professional while also um, spending X amount of nights locked in your study <laughs> writing a dissertation, which is what I have done. And I find that for me, that has been uh, um, very preferable. I am as I said, like really interested in community-based theater um, and theater practices, working with people who don't consider theater a profession um, and as theater as a community building and social justice tool. Um, I definitely want to immediately go back to teaching and facilitating in some way. I found a way to continue that practice while here, although it's kind of <laughs> hard to do because that work happens kind of outside of the School of Drama. So I've mm -hmm. been doing that on the side and balancing that with school is difficult. Um, so I'm excited to immediately be able to launch back into that. And if there's a way for me to do a dissertation that allows me to become a better teacher and facilitator in those practices, great, awesome, I wanna do that.